hour of Jersey Today, we took an initial look at the Howard League for Penal Reforms report on safeguarding the welfare and well-being of children and young people in Jersey's penal system. The report is comprehensive, it's wide-ranging, and here at BBC Jersey we'll be returning to specifics over the coming days. But to discuss in general some of the report's main findings and recommendations, I'm joined now by Senator Jimmy Pershard, Minister with Special Responsibility for Child Welfare. Very good morning to you. Uh, firstly, Senator Pershard, your initial reaction to the report as a whole. Morning, Roger. Uh, yes, well, I received the report yesterday, and I, I have to say at, f at first glance, it, it, it looks to be an excellent report. It, it, it's well considered, very constructive, and will be invaluable in our ongoing work to improve our services for children. And I, I'm particularly pleased that the rep report praises much of the work in, that we are doing in Jersey, the parish hall inquiry, the youth system, um, the bridge, um, the youth services. Um, so um, lots of g good, good stuff. Um, the recommendations they make now need to be uh, considered carefully now and implemented where appropriate. Uh, well, let's discuss. Uh, the Howard League say that as a matter of urgency, Jersey should sign up to the United Nations Convention on the Rights of the Child. Now, I know the recent child employment regulations have taken us a little way there, but will the states now be adopting the Convention's provisions in full? Yeah, absolutely. The, the, the states I, I, I wish to sign up to the UN Conventions on the Rights of the Child uh, as soon as possible. Uh, to do this, we will need to make some minor legislative changes. Um, mainly can be done through regulation, I, I, I believe, but um, they, they revolve mainly around the, the, the hours or, or working, uh, children working and the hours that they're able to work. Your, your listeners may remember that... Um, but three or four weeks ago, we, we, we launched a, a consultative document asking people for input um, and uh, with the view to um, uh, Jersey becoming signatory. So I'll be looking to go to the States early next year, and we intend to be signatories uh, to the UN Convention on the Rights of the Child in full next year. Because it just, people will say, look how long it took the States to yeah. adopt, you know, the Convention on Human yeah. Rights. I mean, that, that was... Ridiculous. Yes, uh, well, it was certainly uh, much more extensive and um, uh, there, was, there was consequential legislation as a result of that. This is relatively minor compared to that piece of work. So early Two, next year... 2009, remind me, Roger, if we haven't signed oh, up... Oh, I will. Um, I will. Don't you worry about yeah. that. Now, what's your reaction to the Howard League's wish to see, uh, and this is a major point, custody virtually eliminated from the picture as far as young people are concerned? In other words... Are we lock, locking up too many youngsters? What do you think? Well, the Howard League claim that we have a disproportionate amount of uh, children in secure accommodation or um, in, on remand. And uh, they historically are probably right. They do concede that uh, the trend is in the right direction and that there are less and less children being held in secure accommodation. But compared to other places, it's not a good figure, they say. Yeah, yeah, but they do concede it's coming down, and um, we know it is coming down. They know it's coming down. So the, the trend is in the right direction. The best way, of course, for it to be reduced is to raise the age of criminal responsibility as they suggest and from then you'd 10 have, to 14 fr from 10 to 14 that means that if you're under the age of 14 you can't be held criminally responsible for your actions is that a recommendation again that you will take to the states and say we must do this no this is going to need very careful consideration this is a major step um it's uh, the uk is 10 that means a 13 year old um, will never be held criminally responsible for any action. Now, this, there are wider consequences than the child themselves. There, there are, society needs to consider this, members need to debate this, and professionals need input. Um, it, would, it is an, uh, a very liberal option, and it's one that will be promoted by some, including the Howard League. It needs to be considered very carefully. Well, this is a really important point, is it? Because a lot of the specific recommendations of this report are underpinned, aren't they, by a, a definite culture or ethos, a way of looking at and, and, and dealing with these issues. You know, moving from punishment to restorative justice, That's prevention, true. keeping youngsters out of the courts. Now, how ready are you, and indeed Jersey, to adopt this culture? Well, it is... Uh, uh, as you say, it's a culture. It's a it's a liberal ap approach to um, uh, penal the penal system with regards to young people. It's a very commendable approach that uh, that young people do not enter the criminal system. That they need support and care. Now, however, I do feel, uh, and I suspect uh, people in Jersey feel that, that as a last resort. Um, uh, uh, 
punish secure secure um, uh, facilities as as a form of punishment is is sometimes necessary. Uh, there needs to be boundaries. Now, so are you th- saying that Howard League are too liberal? I'm saying that this is a liberal agenda. Um, it's on the it's on the other side. Perhaps Jersey's too conservative. There is a debate to be had. Um, it would be foolish for anybody to say 14 is right today. But do you agree that we're locking up too many youngsters? We have done historically. And are we today locking up too many youngsters? Uh, uh, in practice, I don't believe we are because we have no right to sentence. So we children are remanded. Um, they're remanded. Not, not at the moment, in my opinion, as a as a punishment, but in, in an effort to put put them in a secure environment where some intensive support can be given to them. P- p- children are never remanded um, unless unless they, they they have committed very serious crimes, and so. Um, but people will be disappointed to hear that um, you, I don't know about Senator Shenton, we haven't spoken to him yet, as the people who commissioned the report, I mean, how do you intend to progress with these findings and recommendations if you're saying one of those recommendations you're not sure about? Well, we've got, we, 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 they're conflicting recommendations. We've had an, the Andrew Williamson report who, 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 will make rec- who has made recommendations that conflict with this. So every, every professional report will offer an opinion, and it's a case of now putting all these opinions in a pot and coming up with something that is acceptable not only to uh, children and, those, and their representatives, but to society as a whole. Now, you, you mentioned the Williamson Report. The Howard League say that while the idea of the uh, corporate parent, in, in common with the, the Williamson Report, the, the Howard League is saying the corporate parent, which is what, the Ministers for Education, Home Affairs and Health, that's good because it allows you know, cross-agency thinking and working, but it doesn't really work and that we need, in effect, a Minister for Children. Yep. Two reports, the same recommendation. Sure. How likely are we to see a new Ministry for Children? Well, I'm delighted that the Howard League holds the view that there should be a political champion for children. Um, it's, um, it's not surprising, um, and uh, as you say, it's, a, it's one of the Williamson recommendations. Uh, the Council of Ministers at the time of Williamson recommended this, um, uh, appro- accepted this recommendation, and I'm, t- I'm, I'm delighted to say um, publicly that plans are well advanced to implement this. Mm. The plans will be unveiled um, to states and members uh, in early in the new year and hopefully implemented soon after, but there will be a um, uh, political champion for children. But it won't necessarily be a minister for children. Well, there's some structural problems with regards to the state of Jersey law. It's not but insurmountable, will, though, is it? it, it well, there's some budgetary issues. And minister for children, does that overlap into education? Where does mm. the boundary stop? But there will be a uh, political... If the state's approved, there, there'll be somebody that has political responsibility for children. Okay. The Bridges funding, will that continue? you all be strengthened that's one of the praises in the report I, I i'm a big fan of the bridge um we we understand again williamson uh, complimented the bridge on their excellent work i'd like to unroll that principle elsewhere in jersey um the uh, s- supporting vulnerable families early intervention great idea will the funding continue yes absolutely it must and um it must be strengthened uh, what about the parish hall inquiry system? Another plus, uh, as far as the report's concerned. Will that be enhanced and strengthened? Well, they um, are.